Hi guys, this is the third or fourth video that I've taken at Herne Bay and what I'm just going to look at quickly is why we have defences in places like this. So certain areas, um, Reculver for example, which is in one of the other videos, is not defended, but we're here at Herne Bay, we can see that we've got a lot of these groins and if we pan round, we can see that we've got a lot of additional groins that side and some other coastal defences as well. And the reason is that behind the sea wall, we can see the land value here is actually quite high. We've got lots and lots of houses. We've got the town centre just to my uh, left, just further along a little bit to the east. And the land value is very high. So um, the council deemed that uh, the land needs to be protected. So the cost of the groins is quite high, but the benefit of having those groins is higher because if we didn't have the groins, then that land behind, those houses, those businesses, the road, etc., would be uh, ruined and would be flooded. And so the council would have to pay out quite a lot of money. People would have to claim on their insurance, etc. Businesses would lose money. The town would lose money um, because businesses would close down, etc. So when we've got towns like this or places that we've got near Holderness, the little places that we've got there, the little villages and towns there, then very often we will get some form of coastal defence because the cost benefit analysis that we undertake or that the Environment Agency and the Council undertakes um, tells us that the cost of the defences is worth it because the benefit of putting those defences in place is uh, a positive one and uh, we need to protect that land. Hi guys, I'm just going to talk you through a little bit of more detail about the purpose of groins and the job that they do on the beach uh, as a form of coastal defence. So as you can see we're here at Herne Bay and we have got quite a lot of groins stretching out here and as we talked about before, before we've got the groins towards the sea the land is nice and flat but as soon as we get up to the groins the land uh, relief starts to get a lot steeper because the groins' purpose is to catch the beach sediment so the longshore drift moves the beach sediment uh, along the beach and the purpose of the groins is to trap that sediment so as we can see between the groins the level of the land is much much higher and uh, when we're not on the groins uh, when we go beyond the groins towards the sea we can see that it's a lot flatter so the purpose of the groins is to keep the beach sediment in place to capture it to catch it during high tides during storms etc and that makes a really good form of defense for the sea uh, for the land i should say and uh, stops the land being eroded stops land being flooded because it's the purpose of the groins to trap that sediment and make sure that the beach stays nice and steep so the wave energy as it comes in will dissipate on the beach and it won't hit the land behind so that is the purpose of the coastal defenses here and the purpose of groins now we can't really see that much here but we've, we can look either sides of the groin here and what we can see on the right hand side here is that we can see that this land is lower and we can see that on the left hand side here this land is higher so it looks like the longshore drift is going from a west to east direction because we've got a build up of um, material on this side of the groin and then it's a little bit lower down on the other side so we can also see which direction the longshore drift that beach process is happening and here at Herne Bay is happening west uh, east to west is happening it's come from the east it's building up on the west side of the groin and it's carrying on and so the east side of the groin is lower down as the materials moved pushed that way which is uh, towards the west <laughs> 